So I have a nice little geometric sequence here. I've got four terms. I've got a first term of 3, and I've got a ratio of 2. But let's say I want to find the sum of this sequence. So when we start talking about sum, that's when we use the word series for referring to the sum of these things. So if I want to add up these first four terms, then this is what I'm really trying to do here, is I want to add all four of them up. I want to find the sum, S, of the first four terms of this series. And uh, how, do we, how do we do that? Well, you could get a calculator up, out, I guess, and just add them all up there. But let's see if we can come up with a mathematical way of, of doing this. And one way we can, we can do this is we can just take this equation and multiply it by the ratio. So the ratio here is 2, r is 2. And when I multiply the left side by 2, I get two, two sums, 2 times sum of the first four terms. And if I multiply that by 2, I get 6. And that by 2, I get 12. And that by 2, 24. And this by 2, 48. And what I have now here is uh, a system of equations. So I can call this one equation. I'm going to call this one equation 1. And I'm going to call this one equation 2. And so if I take equation 1 and put that here, And then I take equation 1 and put that underneath it. And notice how I did this. So I, I, I tried to line these numbers up. And so when I do that, it makes it easy for me to subtract. So if I have two sums take away, this is like one sum, two sums take away one sum is just S4 the sum of the first four terms, which is what I want. Now really there's a zero here. I could put a zero in here, and I could put a zero in here, just so these these things line up nicely here too for subtraction purposes. And now zero minus three, that's negative three. Six minus six, that's zero, so that's, that's there. Twelve minus twelve, that's another zero. Twenty-four minus twenty-four, see there's a whole whack of zeros here. And then forty-eight minus zero, well now we've got a forty-eight. And so really what we've got is we've got S4, some of the first four, t four terms, is negative 3 plus 48. So instead of having to add all four numbers up, I really just have two numbers to add up here. And negative 3 plus 48 is 45. So there's how we can find the sum of a geometric series by simply taking the sum that we're asked to find and multiplying it by the ratio in this case it was r equals 2, to generate another uh, s uh, series whereby we can subtract the two. And let's, let's look at another example. So here I've got five terms. 1, 3, 9, 27, 81. So it looks like here the ratio is 3, and the first term here is t1. Well, if the ratio is 3, then I should be able to generate a new equation by multiplying everything here by 3. So on the left side, I have 3 of these, and then 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81, times 3 is 243. And now, I've got my equation 1 and my equation 2. I'm going to take this one here, and I'm going to write this one up top. And then I'm going to write the, the smaller one below it and lining them up like this. And then I can add a 0 here and a 0 here. And now I can subtract them. So 3 sums take away 1 sum is 2 sums. And 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 3 minus 3 is 0, 0, 0, 0. 243 minus 0 is 243. So then 2 times the sum of the first five terms is negative 1 plus 243, which is 242. And now I just need to divide by 2 to isolate sum, five, sum of the first five terms. So I could tell that this sum would add to 121 uh, without having to add up these five 
five terms. Now, we don't want to maybe necessarily do all this, so let's see every time. So let's see if we can come up with a general way of finding the sum. So let's see if you can follow along here as we try to develop a general formula for finding the sum of geometric series. So if we're asked to find a sum, obviously there would be a first term, t1. And then there'd be the second term, which is t1 times 1 ratio. And then there'd be the third term, which is t1 times 2 ratios. And so on. We keep multiplying by r until we get the final term, which is t1 r to the power of n minus 1. Well, we know here that the ratio is r. That's our general thing that we're multiplying by. So the ratio is r. So my second equation then, I would want to multiply everything by r, which would look like this. So times that by r, times this one by r, that's now r squared, times this one by r, that's now r cubed, times that one by r, that's r to the 4. And then if I added one more r on here, instead of n minus 1, an extra r would just make it r to the power of n. So here's my two equations, and I'm going to line them up and subtract them. So here's my first one. And then this would go on, and there'd be a t1r to the power of n. And my second equation would be sn, and there'd be a t1 here. Then there'd be all of these. Whoop. And then just for the trn minus 1, we'd have this last one here, which was n minus 1. And now we would go and subtract them. Well, this is like a 1. So if you have r sn minus 1 sn, that's r minus 1 sn's. And this is 0. So 0 minus t1 is minus t1. And then these would all start canceling out. Gone, 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 gone. But there'd be this extra one at the end here, which is t1 r to the n. Instead of writing the negative first, I'm going to write the positive first. So I'm going to write this term first, then the minus t1. And now to isolate sn, I just need to divide by r minus 1. And so we get an equation like this, and then in the numerator, because there's two r1s here, we could fa sorry, two t1s, we could factor out the t1, factor out the t1, and that would leave r to the n in the first term, minus, when you divide that by t1, you're just going to get 1. And so now we have a formula for finding the sum that we simply need to know what the first term is, what the ratio is, and what the number of terms you're trying to find. And using this formula, we'll find us the sum. So let's practice a couple of questions where we would find the sum using our newly developed formula. Okay, I've got a geometric series here, and we want to find the sum of the first 10 terms. Well, here's our formula we developed. S of n equals t1, r to the power n minus 1, over r minus 1. And so we need to know what is the first term. We need t1 here, so it's always good to list these things down. The first term is 1. The ratio we need to know, well, we can always find the ratio by taking t2 and dividing by t1. So 2 divided by 1 is 2. And then n, the number of terms that we need to find, is 10. Whoops, not t10. Sorry, we, wanna, we don't want to find the 10th term. We want to find the sum of the first 10 terms. So find s10. So the number of terms that we're asked to find the sum for is 10. So then just putting it into our formula, the sum of the first 10 terms is t1, which is 1, r, which is 2, to the power of n, which is 10, minus 1, over r2 minus 1. So this is just a matter of substituting the numbers from your geometric series into the expression. And now we just need to work it out. So this would be, I would, we would just go to the calculator here. 
I don't even need to write the 1. But I, I need to do this in brackets. So 2 to the power 10 minus 1, close bracket, divided by open bracket, 2 minus 1, which of course is 1, but whatever, there we go. And I would get the sum, 1,023. So it's, it's just that simple. When we have the formula, we just got to generate these three things, substitute them in the formula. Let's try another one. Here's another one. Let's find the sum of the first eight terms now. So Sn equals T1 R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. So we need to identify some terms here and some other variables. So the first term is 3. The ratio is negative 12, that's T2 divided by 3, so negative 4. And the number of terms is 8. So in our formula, T1 is 3, R is negative 4, to the power of N, which is 8, minus 1, over R minus 1, negative 4 minus 1. Now here's another one where we've got to be careful, because we have a negative number raised to the power of 8. So in the calculator, I'm going to need to make sure I got brackets around the negative 4. So let's do that. 3 times bracket and then a second bracket for the negative 4 to the power of 8. So there's the negative 4 in brackets to the power of 8, then minus 1. Close bracket to close off my numerator. Divided by, now because we have two terms in the denominator, I'm going to need brackets for my denominator as well. Negative 4 minus 1. Just the calculator knows to divide all of this stuff. And we get negative 39,321. 39,321. So negative 39,321 would be the sum of this series when we add up the first eight terms. And so this is, just to summarize, this is the formula what we need to know s of n is equal to t1, the first term, times the ratio to the power of n minus 1, divided by the ratio minus 1.